right, welcome. So we are back here. We're doing TAD uh, Gaming Services LLC case study. We're in section five. We are just getting ready to do some uh, invoices, right? So the invoices at the end of the chapter. So to do those invoices, uh, and really what invoices are, right, is invoices are us telling our clients they owe, owe us money, right? So we're saying, okay, we did services, we uh, delivered product, whatever it was, you owe us money now, so we're gonna invoice you. And um, and so it's kind of, it depends on which end of the deal you're on, right? So if you're sending the invoice, right, you're invoicing clients to pay you. If you're on the other end and you're a client, and you're receiving an invoice from your vendor, then that looks, that we call that a bill, right? And so <clears throat> either way it works, but in this, in this case, we're gonna do invoices, right? So this is for our customers, our clients. And so uh, we're gonna click on the plus new up there on the top left, and we're gonna click on invoice here, okay? And we're gonna need to make sure that, let's see, we need to make sure our invoice is uh, invoice, 1001, right? This is going to be our first invoice. And yours may come up that way right from the get go. <clears throat> our client is going to be Indie Publishing. And uh, we put that in, and then it uh, will put all the information in for us. Um, make sure it's due net 30, right? Our invoice date on here, we need to update that. That is going to be uh, 1 15 2025. Okay, uh, whoops, got that in the wrong spot. Redo this. There we go. And our due date will autom automatically update because of the terms. Okay, so we're gonna want to put in our products and services here. So in, in this case, we've got some design services that we did. And we're gonna put the rate in for that. And we also have some programming and coding services that we did. Same thing, we're gonna put the amount or the rate in for that, right? So quantity times rate is gonna give us our amounts. 30,000, that looks good, okay. And we will go ahead and do a uh, save on that, okay. All right, so let's go ahead and look and see where this shows up here. So we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and close this out. So this shows up over here in the sales area, all right? So we're gonna click on all sales and sure enough, there it is. There is our invoice that we just put in. So uh, now what we wanna do, we're gonna go up to plus new again and we're gonna do uh, the receive payment. We could do it down here as well, right? Receive payment here. And so that's gonna bring up a screen for us where we're gonna do the receive payment. Okay, so here's the receive payment window. If we if we do this just as as uh, right the plus new and just do that, then we're gonna put in our uh, vendor again, and it looks like it'll bring up right th what that uh, vendor owes us, what they may be paying for. Uh, so we see our in invoice 101 down here. That is it right there. Perfect. Uh, so there's several different ways to do this. We saw back on the invoice as well. We saw there's different buttons that we can click on receive payment. and It'll queue all this stuff up for us. But, but that's kind of what, uh, what it, right? The next step along the path, right? We we sent the invoice. They send us payment. On the deposit, two, we're not going to send this directly to our checking account. What we're going to do is we're going to put this in a kind of a holding account in the middle, right? A middle account. It's called undeposited funds. And that'll allow us to queue everything up and then do deposits all together and process that. That's kind of the order that we're gonna do it in. Um, our payment date, it has to be on or after, right, the invoice date, which is totally fine. So this date, we're, we're just gonna take that. We're gonna say they paid us the same day we invoiced them, they're super quick. Um, on this payment method, one thing you'll note here is that we, we wanna do an ACH. If you don't have ACH on yours, you're gonna to wanna to hit this uh, add new right here and and uh, select ACH so ACH really what that is is that stands for automated clearinghouse so that's really where banks transfer 
uh, money in, right? So our client transferred money in straight into our bank account is the way that worked, right? So that's that works. Um, we can put a reference number here or not, doesn't necessarily uh, matter in this case study. And so it looks like we've got everything else set up and we can go ahead and do save and close. So now we see back here on in our sales uh, items, we see that we do have a payment here, right? So it is paid. Our invoice is also marked paid there as well. So that's the next step. So now as we continue on down that path, right? So we, we sent our client that invoice, a notification that they need to pay us, then they paid us, and now we need to process that payment. We need, to, we need to go up here to plus new again and go to other bank deposit right there. And we see it sitting right here, right? So that is our uh, payment that we need to then uh, make sure it ends up in here at the top. We need to make sure that's checking. Uh, the date of the deposit is going to be uh, 02 10 2025. Okay. And anything else that we may need to put in there. It looks like it looks like we've got everything that we need at this point. Um, and we can go ahead and do uh, save and close on that one. Okay, so those are all set up there. So now what I'm going to go go ahead and do real quick is I'm going to go through all of the other um, invoices that we're sending out, and I'm going to go ahead and and then uh, receive payments on those, and then do the deposits that we want to do on those. So I'm going to go ahead and go through those really quick, and I'll speed this. Okay, so that looks like I've got everything set there. Uh, I've got uh, three more invoices that I entered in, and now I'm going to go ahead and receive some payments on uh, 1002 and 1003. Okay, so now those have been paid. There's only uh, one that has not been paid, right? So that's going to be 1,004 has not been paid yet. Uh, these other two that ju I just received, I need to do the uh, bank deposits for those. So I'm going to do those separately. They're on different dates, so I'll do those separately, and then I'll be done. So I'm going to do the AFK Gamer Game Developers first. I got their date on there. I've got that one selected. The other one's not selected. Uh, typically, uh, th these are kind of big batch ones that we're doing as case study. Typically, we're going to do this as we go. Um, so there may not be all these other ones mixed in there, but there may be some uh, when you do deposit batches where you do want to separate them. So just check the box if if it's going to be part of the deposit, and then uh, you can can go ahead and, and process it that way. So I'm going to do save and new on this. Okay, there we go. So I got my deposits prepped and, and everything's set on that one. And so now the next video I'm going to go through and walk through some of the uh, reports that we do for this section, but I think we should be good to go. And as long as yours looks like mine and kind of went through the same steps, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out, email me, contact me, and I will help you out. Thanks. Bye.